guys, it is a Tuesday morning. So I'm gonna cry because I'm really excited to tell you something because you all have been so supportive. Um, welcome to another reading vlog, although we're gonna start with something that's not reading and then I'll tell you what I'm reading, okay? So I just had one of my checkups with my doctor and um, in the last three weeks total, I'm down um, 13 pounds, so that's, that's really great, that's awesome. But I got to cut one of my medications in half which is so great and I don't have to take blood pressure medicine anymore after only three weeks <sighs> wow like sorry the one of the main goals of this whole thing is whether I ever get to look different or whether I feel different which I know that will come like right now I don't really feel those effects yet just because when you're really overweight you don't really start to notice those things until you know you really start to hit those different numbers and everything but my goal is to not be on any medication to not need any extra help to have my body be able to do what it's supposed to do without assistance because I am healing my body guys every pound that I lose every exercise that I choose to participate in I'm healing my body and I can't even explain like how good it feels and how like encouraging it is and how much it wants me to keep going and that this isn't just gonna be like a fad diet or like a quick trip like this is happening and that's so exciting like I just I can't so anyway for those of you who are following my journey and are so encouraging um, I'm looking at you Amanda who tells me she prays for me every day and so many other of you have sent me very encouraging words when it's really hard to be vulnerable like this. I know there are plenty of channels that are weight loss channels and people always get support there, but it's still scary to do. So it's amazing. But enough of that. Reading. Reading is going great. I'm on page 390 of The Shadow Rising. Really liking it right now. The women in the story kind of pissing me off. Not going to lie. This, they're very condescending to some of the men and I know that that's like a flip or a change or whatever and these are powerful women and they're still growing like this is only the fourth book I know everyone's gonna grow a lot over the many books to come but right now I'm just kind of like I'm in the point of view of one of the characters and I just am like can you just not like the weight of the world is on this these people's shoulders and you're just being really petty about some stuff and it's frustrating me right now but anyway that's happening um, that's really the only thing I'm like reading right now I want to get started on Grace and Fury because I have two reader picks to read this month and I haven't started either of them um, so I really need to get into that but anyway that's kind of where we're at for this week this week is starting with fabulous news and I just can't wait it is another busy week this afternoon I'm gonna be working from home I need to go in to speak with some customers and get some stuff figured out but then I'll be home for a while, so hopefully I will get some more reading done then. But um, I'll check in with you later. Hey guys, it is, ooh, cover that light there. It is um, Wednesday night right now. I just got back from a going away party for one of my friends. It was really hard. I'm gonna miss him a lot. Um, sorry this lighting is so weird. I have all the other lights off except my lamp. Um, yeah, this week's going pretty great so far. I am uh, read another like 120 pages of The Shadow Rising. Just got through some pretty intense stuff, so I need a little bit of a break. But today I started The Wallflower Wager, which is the third book in The Girl Meets Duke by Tessa Dare. I was so excited. I forgot that that came out this week. But I got it, and I'm already almost halfway into it. And then I've been reading some of the Obelisk Gate, and I think I'm 60 pages into, yeah, I'm 60 pages into this. This is the second um, in the Broken Earth trilogy. It's going really good. I'm really liking all three of those right now. Um, I'll probably finish this one first just because, I mean, these romance novels are way too quick to read. Um, but then I want to make some more progress on the Obelisk Gate, and I really need to read Grace and Fury. Oh man, the, the month is slipping away and I still need to read my viewers' picks. 
So I need to get into those, but I'm just loving the other stuff so much. It's like hard to do it, but I'm going um, on a retreat this weekend. So I might try to like just bring Grace and Fury with me so that it's the only choice that I have. And hopefully that means I'll read it faster. So I'll definitely have some clips from the retreat. That was my second vlog ever <laughs> from last year because I had Itasca and then the leaders retreat. So it's such a beautiful location. It's really peaceful and it's a great time where um, my um, church leadership for the young adults, we get together and discuss kind of what our vision is for the next year. So it's really exciting. But all right, I'll check back in with you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it is Friday. I'm getting ready to head to my leaders retreat with my church friends. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick update just in case I like don't um, have as much time to read as I think. Um, I did end up finishing um, the Wallflower Wager, which was so cute. I didn't know where it was going in the beginning. I was like, okay, <laughs> this seems like an interesting track going, but it ended up being a really powerful story actually, which I'll talk more about in my wrap up. But um, a couple things. First, as always, I'm working on my wheel of time. I'm halfway through it right now. I just passed the halfway point um, and I'm really liking it. There's a lot of like big series, like whole series implication in this one. Some ways that some of our characters are changing, um, some aspects of themselves that they're learning about. And it's been really great. Also, just um, this is like a total non-spoiler thing. It's just mentioning something. There is this race of people in this book that is called the Gen Aiel, and it's spelled the way I spell my name with two N's. So whenever they get mentioned, which isn't very often because at this point in the story, we don't know a lot about them. They're just this like mythical group of people that we hear about. They will call them just the Gen, and it gives me like overly amounts of happiness when I see my name <laughs> written in a book that way <laughs> which I know is just silly but you know we don't especially in fantasy you don't normally see like Jen right that's not exactly a fantasy name I've seen Guinevere or Genevieve in fantasy because that's that's the roots of where Jennifer comes from but anyway just thought I'd say that I'm having a great time I'm marking just a few things I'm not like annotating this whole thing but there have been some like pretty cool parts that I've like marked up and the next, guys, I'm finally making some progress on Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. It shouldn't be too bad because this isn't this is only 300 pages. Um, the first couple chapters were kind of tough to get into because I thought the story was going to be going one way, and I was like, guys, I'm not into it if that's where it's going. But in this story, it is forbidden for women to have like higher learning or to read. And one of our characters literally gets caught with a book and gets thrown in prison for knowing how to read. And so even though the things I've seen so far are kind of frustrating, I really like that concept of not only like, is it forbidden for women to read or have knowledge, but they're literally willing to throw you in prison. So to me, like there has to be some reason for that. Like, I just don't believe that there's straight up just oppression to keep women from being smart. Like, I don't know any spoilers for this book at all. Like, I only hear people say it's about two sisters and one goes to prison and one is this. And that, that, that that's like in the in the cover. Like, I've never heard anyone spoil anything for me. But just my own guess, since this is still a fantasy, like, I have a feeling there's a reason why women have to be kept unlearned. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping to see what that is. So it just got kind of dark. Like the character that, got, that gets thrown in prison just had it happen. And her other sister is left behind with, you know, this guilt that her sister is going to prison and she has no idea how to help her. And so I'm pretty excited. I'm excited that it's a smaller book. Um, I wanted to say that this is the one I was bringing to my retreat, but I'm definitely going to bring the Shadow Rising with too because it's really good right now. And I know that I won't be able to fully give my attention to, to anything else until I finish that. But I'll, I'll try to work on this one some more. So that's an update for you now. And there'll either be some clips from the retreat or uh, me wrapping this video up.
who knows? I never make up my mind. But anyway, talk to you soon. Ooh. Could be on the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Pure talent. Pure talent. If you want to follow us on. <laughs> It's fun to watch it on a lake because you can see really far. Um, it's also Half fun to watch it under a porch. <laughs> yeah, when you're not standing in it. Are we gonna die from the storm, Sarah? I mean, probably. <laughs> it's been a good run. It's been a good run, man. If you find this footage, we died in the tornado. <laughs> it happened. But we lived. But we lived. We're in heaven but now. Died, but we lived. Yep. Oh, yes, it is. What? Where's Denzel? He's in the garage. <laughs> I said hi to him when I walked by. Oh, snap. But my car's not. Oh, well, he's beat up already. It's fine. Hey. <laughs> That's not for you to say. <laughs> what are you thinking, Casey? <laughs> She's like, You're looking nervous. That's fine. Hey. <laughs> he's looking nervous. He said the same thing. They're all very excited by our eminent demise. <laughs> and they're just cooking us chicken. That's happening. Wow. That was a really big one. No, no. Your new car, Dylan. weather service through like airline and stuff. Yeah. But they also give out a number for storm spotters. Oh, that's direct. Well, Normally you'd call the closest one, but right, I have the Grand Forks, and that's the one that. Grand Forks. No, you and then Grand Forks. Oh no! I got that on camera. What's that? It's going in. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome to my Saturday. Um, it was a pretty crazy storm last night, but uh, everyone's okay. <laughs> There's some, a few bits of debris on the lawn, but otherwise everything was fine. Um, it was so beautiful to watch, even though it was scary too. But time to wrap up the week. I'm about to have brunch with my friends and then head back to Fargo. Um, didn't get a ton more reading done than the last time we talked, which is what I thought would happen. We were listening to Harry Potter on audiobook on the way here, because one of my friends is trying to get through the series, so that was fun. But, uh, I'm still, I'm on page three, or five, thirty-two of this. Um, really enjoying it. This evening I plan to take some time to read, so I'll probably start the next week's vlog with that. Um, had a really great weekend. Got to meet a new online friend. Hi, Joe. Joe from um, Not So Average Joe. Uh, Murphy introduced us this weekend uh, over online, and it was really fun. I think we're going to have a beautiful bookish relationship together, and I can't wait. Um, wow, there's a pelican. That's awesome. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, thanks so much for spending some time with me here. Um, if you'd like to see some more of my videos, you can do that right now.